everybody. This is the Amazon Fire HD6 and it looks like we finally have a method to root this device. Um, it uses a method called King Root. So here's what you do. First thing you want to do is go into your settings, go into applications, and select apps from unknown sources. This just allows you to install any application from anywhere. Then the next thing you want to do is go into the device options and first of all we want to you need to triple tap the serial number in order to enable developer options once you have developer options enter into it and then enable slide to enable ADB now before we get any uh, before we get any further I'm just going to show you which system version I have and just in case anything changes now the next thing you want to do is go into the web browser and I'll have this link in the description um, for the King Root application. Uh, the latest is version 4 and that is the one that works. Now you just click on uh, the link to start downloading. Once it's downloaded it will come down here and click on it and install. Now it doesn't take too long to install. Click open. Now I've already uh, rooted this device, but uh, this. Uh, so I, I, I'm just gonna tell you what what to do. You first, it's gonna be a little bit different, but you just basically click the button right here, and then it loads through to root your device. It takes about two minutes, and then the device reboots, and it's rooted. Now. Something to note is that it installs some apps that you will not need. After you reboot, it will have two apps that you don't need. This one you do, King User you do need. It's an alternative like um, Super User or Super Sue. It's an alternative to that. Um, but you can ins uninstall the King Root app and there's one other app that is not needed by the end. So at the end, it will just all you'll need is the King User app. Now the the other one that you need to or that you can uninstall, I don't have installed because I've already uninstalled it. But it gets installed after you root the device. And as you can see, it's just um, shows the root authorizations and it has uninstall tools to uninstall system apps and all sorts of stuff and. So after you got it rooted, well, I mean that's pretty much it. Can uh, we can look in the root checker? I'll just show you that this thing actually is rooted, and boom! Congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. So I don't think there's much else to say except well, um, we might be able to get the Play Store working on here, and um, that will be pretty neat, and maybe even.